You know what I just noticed? I haven't changed my calendar from December 2020 to January 2021. Okay, so the purpose of this video is to show how fast the iBuy power with the 3070X graphics card can open several different softwares from video games to creative softwares. So you guys might notice how long this video is. This is because I am shooting in real time with my camera. This allows me to show you how fast you can open some programs. And right here I'm just kind of blocking my password and my name. So you know, just don't mind. Here I am going to apologize for not having uh, actual software that will allow me to screen record what you're seeing right here so I had to do for my camera um, hopefully that's okay with you guys all right right here I wanted to share some of my software that I'm gonna be showing so like Minecraft um, that's the first one I'm gonna be opening up and you're gonna see how smooth it runs on this I buy power PC and if you guys are curious to know what mic I'm using to record this video, it's actually from my previous video of the most rated Amazon headphones. I'll have the link above if you guys want to watch that. And I'm not going to be talking for the rest of the Minecraft video so you guys can enjoy the music that is the Minecraft world. I will be opening up is Autodesk Maya. For those of you who may have not heard of this application, this is a powerful 3D computer animation and modeling software. Maya is often used in top feature films and well-known animation studios. Because it is a software used in the professional industry, it's a perfect example to use in this video. And 15 seconds to open the Maya application is very impressive. Compared to my older Acer laptop that held a GeForce GTX 1650 graphics card and 8 gigs of RAM, it took me 10 minutes before to open just the application alone. Alright, so this is an avatar ink rig that I found for free. If you guys want, I could put a link on the bottom in the comments. Um, I apologize for not actually having any animation on this rig. I just wanted to test the rig, honestly, and just show you guys how cool and fast um, animating on Maya, which itself is a heavy software, and having a rig on top of it, it makes it even heavier. Well, with the iBuy Power PC, it actually does very well. And you can feel free to skip ahead if you guys want to see other rigs or other sections that I'm going to be testing. I just wanted to show what it would be in real time. That's why this video is going to be a bit lengthier than my rest because um, I'm showing everything in, in real time. Um, some things are skipped over, but the launch and me moving things around, such as this Avatar Ang rig, this is in real time. And just out of curiosity, if any beginning 3D animators are curious, would you guys like to see future videos of me showing you guys around Maya? Comment below. So the next rig I'm showing you guys is this marine rig. 
it might not be noticeable at first, but there are a lot more joints and geometry on this mecha suit compared to the human rig with traditional skeleton joints. The additional joints and geometry makes it heavier, therefore needing more power to animate on this rig. I'll be putting the link below if there are some animators who want to test this out. And just a heads up, if there are some curious animators who want to create using Maya, I currently have 16 gigs of RAM on my PC, which makes it easier for me to create and save larger files. Before I was using 8 gigs as a beginner, which is perfectly fine, but if you have the option to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM, it'll make your creative life easier. Now this scene is different than the last two. This scene is much larger than the last because of the props, scenery, lighting, and animation. For some reason my previous textures are missing from the trees and the rocks as you can see why it's totally gray, but I'm still going to show you guys around. I'm also missing this giant dragon which is supposed to be over here where my cursor is at, um, but I think that's just in a different file. And even though it looks very simple what I'm doing, just moving the scene around, it's actually very impressive that I can just move and travel throughout the scene, especially with all those props, lighting, and just everything around it. You can see that I'm going to show you a little bit of the geometry, which is the blue right here, and that makes such a heavy file. I was not able to do any of this before, and I could even scroll through the timeline right here just to show you the animation. Alright, so here I'm going to be scrubbing through the timeline, and I only have about 80-90 frames of animation here. And I'm kind of slowing down and going back and forth only because I'm so impressed that I'm able to do this. Before, I just had to wait for the lag and for the crashing of the application, but this is so impressive. I wish that I had it when I was actually creating this scene, so I could, I don't know, keep going with it, make more stuff, make more animation, even like add cool stuff to it too. Um, it's just, this is awesome. Also really curious, for those who are not familiar with animation, can you guys guess and just comment below how long you think it took me to create that animation? I'm curious to know what you guys will think. And right here, you can see my cursor starting to load something and a text came down on the bottom where it says warning the text will show up. Um, I was actually trying to render the animation here so you can actually see more texture and more resolution. I'm trying to do it again up close so then you guys can see it, but it turns out the little pop window won't show up in the stupid uh, Xbox game recorder thing that I'm using. See the thing on the bottom, um, textures not existing, which is fine because he had the most minimal texture because I was trying to keep this file light. Um, all right, moving on to the next one. So we have Blender. This is the Blender launch test. That little glitch that just happened, I just wanted to show you guys real time. And then it's had a reflection of me, which is why you guys saw it on the side. I apologize. All right, so this is Blender. I'm using the Sculpt Draw, but it is not working right now. So I changed it over to the 3D side of Blender. It's not working either. So I'm going to the 2D animation side of Blender, and guess what? not working either. But you can see as I'm scrolling through the software, it goes from one medium to the other. See right here, I'm going to VFX, and it was almost instantly moving on. I wish I did have more examples to show on Blender, but I actually haven't used it. I've mostly been on Maya. 
All right, and here is another one. Really cool software if you guys are unaware of Blender. It's free. It's open source. You guys can download it. I'll put the link below. All right, so I'm trying to open up the Adobe Creative Cloud. And right here, you'll see a bunch of apps that you can run, which is totally fine. And I'd highly recommend if you guys are trying to go for either video editing, Photoshop, all that. And here's the launch test for the After Effects software. Alright, so that is Adobe After Effects, which is, if you guys are unfamiliar with it, it's a really cool VFX and motion graphics software that you can use to like animate logos or a character or just, you know, design in 3D space. You can do so many cool things in it. You can do VFX in it, um, which is really cool. If you guys just want to do some basic stuff in it, it's really cool. Um, I will say, you guys are looking for uh you know a cheaper alternative i don't know what i would recommend because this is such a really cool software but if you're a student i would say to take advantage of free student software keys that adobe might have or it could be offered straight through your school um you know just trying to make it cheap for you guys all right, and I kind of apologize for using this one. This is the Notorious Cyberpunk 2077. I kind of want a refund. I kind of don't. I don't know what to do with this game, but I kind of just wanted to show it for this video. If there's anything I can use it for. It's just, I guess, just this. Um, really quick, has anybody actually played Cyberpunk 2020? 2020, 2077. What would you guys think about it? Did you guys like it? Was it too glitchy for you guys? Was it as open world and cool as they had promised? Um, I actually had a lot of expectation for Cyberpunk. Um, kind of let me down. I had a few glitches. I have a video actually where my character did not come out the way I wanted to. Um, I also had a glitch with the Xbox game bar when recording the main um, beginning of the game. Actually, when I was trying to customize a character, it wasn't showing. Um, I don't know what just popped up right here. I apologize. There's a lot of things going on. Um, and I don't know if you could just see in the very corner of it down here, it says press space bar to continue. I'm not just letting it play just to play. I've actually been trying to press the space bar and it's still not working. It finally did. Hopefully it's loading. All right, so I'm just kind of scrolling through. Just want to show you if it's laggy or not. And here I'm going to be continuing the game. Still loading content. Then it has this other sub area. Um, I guess it does have a lot of things to load. It is a very large city. Um, I wouldn't say that the map is too large compared to other games, but I mean, for a PC game, you know, I don't know. Gigs are heavy. I kind of am not a fan of how long it takes to load. I think it's almost nonsense, but I, you know, Whatever. I think I'm just more angry that I spent money on this game and it's just all right. All right, so it took two minutes and 55 seconds for that whole thing to load and for you to hold, listen to my whole banter. Um, I'm gonna try to go around the city and show you some things. The FPS is decent. If you want me to do another video on just the FPS, I'll do it. Um, but right now, I just wanted to show the load time. Right here I am, just going around. I'm trying to steal this car GTA style, but nope, it's not letting me take control. All right, thanks, Susan. 
right? Just random billboards, puddle, random guy walking all weird, glitchy ads, and this lady who won't give me food. And if you guys like this video, can you please like and subscribe and put a little comment for that YouTube algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Take care.